This is Learning Python Data Analysis, published by Pack Publishing. I'm Ben Hoff, and this is the course overview, where we're going to talk a little bit about me and also a little bit about the course. So let's go ahead and get me over with first. So my name is Ben Hoff, and I'm a mechanical engineer by education. But I spent the first three years of my career doing graphics processing, desktop application development, and facility simulation using a mixture of C++ and Python. Now, after finishing my first job, I've rotated back into being a mechanical engineer, but I've continued to pursue programming, including looking into the growing field of data analysis and applied machine learning, or as I like to call it, fancy applied statistics. I've also taken the opportunity to continue to immerse myself into the absolutely massive ecosystem surrounding Python. I'm excited for the opportunity to hopefully teach you both a little bit about data analysts and a little bit about the Python data analyst ecosystem. Say that five times fast. So let's talk about data analysts. What is it or what am I going to learn? Well, data analysts is actually a pretty comprehensive topic, but there's five basic things that we need. The first is a programming environment. The second is access to some data. The third is to explore and clean that data. The fourth is visualizing the data. And the fifth is finally to analyze the data. So let's talk about each of the five steps and how we're going to tackle them in this course. So first we need a programming environment. We're going to learn how to install everything. Since we'll be using Python, we'll learn how to install Python, set up a virtual environment, and a setup.py file, as well as install all the packages that we need. Second, we need access to some data. So we'll talk about how to get access to Twitter data using the Twitter API, how to build a database to store our data directly so that we can do some later analysts on it, and take a peek into the database to make sure that the data is getting stored correctly. Thirdly, we need to explore and clean our data. So we're going to talk about how to use a Python data analyst library called Pandas and specifically how the functionality of Pandas can make the exploration and manipulation of huge sets of data super easy. We'll also introduce and explore a couple of Python gold standard scientific computing libraries, i.e. NumPy and SciPy. These libraries will come in super handy now and also during our final step of actual analysts. Fourth, we'll look at doing some neat visualization using the incredible matplotlib library. And what we're going to do is pretty cool. We're going to combine matplotlib with the desktop application library Qt. And what we're going to do as a final product is make ourselves a really neat um, data analysis dashboard for our computer. And finally, we'll get to our fifth step, which is analysis. We'll be doing some sweet analysis using a bunch of cool techniques to do things like cluster our users based on their influence, focus on the sentiment or positivity or negativity of their text content, and use predictive models to automatically group our incoming tweet topics to have a better idea of what everyone is talking about. There's a bunch of content coming up and I'm super excited to show you some data analysis. So crack your knuckles, take a seat, and let's start working.